my name is Primrose and welcome back to the channel. So a while back, I received a request from someone to make a video of how I care for my Monstera Stanliana and that's what I'm going to share with you today guys. So this will be a little bit challenging to film guys because the plant is literally behind the television and um it's very tall now so i am particularly proud of this one because i grew this plant from a single node cutting that was like dying so a friend uh, gave this to me she bought it off at sea and uh it was not in the best shape when i received it the cutting was cut too close to the node and then both ends uh started to like turn black and mushy that i had to constantly scrape it off so it took ages to um root it but it is very satisfying to watch how big it is now after i think it's been a little over a year so up there i have like a 27 watts i think it's a sensi grow bulb so it is under a grow light and uh, currently it is 67 percent humidity in this room and it is in this small pot so the the uh, growing media is composed of potting soil uh, some orchid bark and some perlite let's find a so that's how thick the roots are so the roots are a little big they're not thread like i think that explains why the top uh leaves are a lot smaller i would like to think that this plant is now root bound but i won't be repotting it until spring so the pot obviously is too small for it now so this is my way of eliminating or avoiding the use of moss pull in my collection. I have too many plants and too little space. So a moss pull can take up so much space. And um, in winter time, it, I still feed my plants because obviously they are receiving enough light. So I feed once a month. And I am using a um, seaweed-based fertilizer on all of my plants. But I'm pl planning of using something else this year because I've always been using a seaweed-based one. And some of the leaves are like half moon. It's got half moon variegation, but not all of them. Some has like very slight... Uh, variegation just a slight splash of white there but otherwise it's such a very easy going plant so the crisping up of the leaves here that's me that's my fault um, before pinning all of my plants here against the wall I went and gave all of them like a complete shower and my mistake was that I did not wait for the leaves to get dry before pinning them against the wall and I forgot to switch my fan on. <clears throat> so when it comes to wet leaves, this plant, especially the variegated por portion, it's very sensitive and I've noticed that... Uh, it doesn't want to, to the soil to get like completely or 100% dry uh, it would like right away show on the leaves so I'm very observant when it comes to my care and then I observe how the plants react so yeah definitely the crisping up of the leaves has gotten worse when I waited for the soil to like get 100% dry before topping up the water but it's been um, corrected 
and now the upper portion the variegation has uh, improved they look a lot cleaner so i'm thinking of propagating so i could get like multiple cuttings in a pot but i wanted to wait because i still have enough space up there so what else uh So that's it really, very easy care plant in my collection and uh, if you have any question for me guys, please leave me a question or a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!